Welcome to an episode of uh, Jay Leno's Garage. This is the 2010 Porsche GT3. Now, uh, we did a GT3 not that long ago, but we're doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing it. Our good friend Justin Bell, you know Justin, a uh, race car driver. He and his dad won Le Mans. Uh, God, must be, oh, a long time ago now. Uh, he's going to be taking this up to Laguna Seca, and uh, we're going to ride along with him. I'm not. i got to work. i got stuff to do. But he's a free spirit, so he's going to take it out and take it out on the track and show us what this car can really do. I enjoy driving these cars on the street and having fun with them, but I'm not a race car driver, and Justin is a big-time race car driver, and he'll show you what this car is really capable of. Uh, this seems to have, oh, it's got that plastic coating on here, doesn't it? That's what that is. This, they, they put this on to protect the paint. Justin, come on in. How are you doing? Hey, Jay. All right, thanks. Justin Bell, ladies and gentlemen. Now, is this a factory deal? Or is that is a factory application. Okay. Yeah, they got... Do you remember in the old days, it used to look like someone had got some scotch tape and put right, it across right. the front? Now it's... it's. And remember, this is a press car. Right. So it goes in the hands of all these crazy media, right. us included, and I guess they want to protect it. And then you just peel that off when you sell the car. Yeah, I, I think that's the idea. Right. I don't know anyone that's actually done the peeling off part. Right, and, right. You know, but... So tell us what you're going to be doing with this car. You know, I, I, my idea is... is the road to racing philosophy, mm -hmm. as you know, we, we went with BMW, did a bit with the M3. Porsche is probably the closest on that theme right. in that this car has evolved to one and the feedback from the race technology to the fact that this car probably would have won, you know, Le Mans in its class 10 years ago. Right. It's amazing to me that this is what I like. Porsche is just a sort of slow evolution. Uh, every year they just get a little bit better, a little bit better. And if you've got one of these, it's 10 years old. You don't feel like you're driving some. No old-fashioned kind of car you know I know Honda motorcycles one year they go v4 then inline four then v twin and and each year your engine is out I like yeah. the constant refinement over and over again now I know I think last year it was like uh, approximately 400 horsepower now it's up to what 435 435 and you know they the, the whole rear engine six cylinder thing they right. it's it's an um, that sound is so distinctive i think right. anyone would would know it when it comes and it's a manual six speed right and uh it's and if you know your porsches you know this is the normally aspirated version a lot of people like the turbo and it does have more power but this is more the ultimate driver's car and again porsche being one of the only manufacturers still committed to the manual gearbox which is what i, I love I know a lot of the Italian makers have all gone to the double clutch because it's easier in the city. Oh, shut up. You like to drive, you like to drive. And this is what they do best. I mean, I bought my Carrera GT because they developed that fantastic carbon fiber clutch and that just amazing uh, gearbox. And this is, uh, of course, has got the same thing, just a proper gearbox. Uh, these are a lot of fun to drive. You know, all these cars that go over 200 miles an hour, and, but you can't go 200 miles an hour. All the fun happens between 40 and 100 miles an hour, and that's where this car is the most fun. It just pulls like a train. Very progressive, because oh, yeah. it's normally aspirated. The nice thing about Porsche, you can drive it like a regular car. So many European exotics, you leave your garage, you go in a big circle, and you go home, like I do. This you can use as an everyday car, and still have uh, all the supercar performance. It's even got, uh, which is important with that big front spoiler, it's even got a, a button you push to raise the front. I yeah, I've suspension. ripped the front end. I've ripped that splitter <laughs> off a number of cars. Yeah. And, uh, so. Well, that's a sensible thing, because, you know, especially living around here, you, you, right. you need very that. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, beautiful wheels. You know, the brakes, Porsche really developed the, the brakes. And of course, you've got center lock wheels, which I yeah. always think there's nothing sexier than uh, center lock wheels. Those are fantastic. Now, you are going to take this on a road trip now, is that correct? Yeah, I'm going to leave now and go up to uh, the American Le Mans race okay. at, at Monterey, at Laguna Seca. And that's where Patrick Long, who races for Flying Lizard, he's right. probably America's top Porsche factory driver. He's their only factory driver based here in the States. And, you know, they're racing. It's the ultimate racetrack almost in America. Right. And I'm really just keen to see the, put the cars side by side as close as I can and, and hear what he says about the, the similarities and, and cool. the differences between the road and the race car. Well, we'll see how he does. Good luck. I will try not to get arrested and That's I'll right. use your name if I do. And report back here. <laughs> no. Well, it was great fun driving on the main wide open road but i do have a porsche gt3 in my hands so i have gone looking well off the beaten path as evidenced by these country roads i think i've just found the perfect place it's my very own california hill climb 
And while I'm probably not gonna get out of second gear, I will be going fast. Zero to 60 in four seconds on this beautiful road monster. To get the most out of the car and have a lot of fun, I'm gonna, very easy on this car, just push off the traction control and the stability control in one go, it's all disengaged. Now the car obviously has so much power, but it has amazing grip and, and great weight balance that uh, you can still push the car to extreme lengths without it going sort of sideways or, or really getting out of your hands. But on the highway, I'd really recommend having all those on. So now I'm set, all I do is bring up the stopwatch up here. Okay, clock goes round, start timing now. 